I passed the company firewall right before you hired me. Okay, what? Richard says someone's been using it to access our system since before the first attack. The security measures he and I set in place never stopped them because we didn't even know the loophole existed. Oh, I see. Frank's fixed that, though, right? He has now. But he's wondering why you never mentioned it. Frank's paranoid, Adam. You know that. Can a busy man forget things once in a while? You streamed an awful lot of data through that portal, boss. Right before you brought me on board, Preacher made me paranoid, but I gotta admit, I'm wondering what was in it, too. Yeah, as an ex-cop, I guess you would. But the important thing is, you found the hole and plugged it. We're secure now. And the information you uncovered in that FEMA facility, they actually help us track these guys. So let's just stay focused on what's important. I want to, believe me. I want to catch these guys as badly as you do. But that breach is responsible for every security crisis we've had, including today's. If you want me to stop these guys, I need to know what kind of data they've had access to. You're right, you're right. I'm sorry if I seem evasive. But there's something you're not getting here, Adam. Business is war with no clear battleground and no rules to keep our enemies honest. In this company, I'm the Commander-in-Chief, and I have to be ready for anything, and I will do anything to ensure that I am. And I hired you because I needed a general I could trust, one who knows how to obey orders. Oh, don't get me wrong, boss. I'm not questioning your leadership. I'm just concerned that the data you streamed might have been compromised, accessed by the hacker who attacked us. If so, how do you suggest I handle it? Good question. I guess we should consider every possibility. Look, I'm not going to share every single detail of this data with you. As CEO of this company, there are things I can't release, even to you, Frank, or Athena. I consider us all a team here, but we each have our own roles to fill. I decide who gets trusted with what, and in this case, you're just going to have to do your job without knowing all the facts. Megan said you could roll with the punches. Proof she was right. With all due respect, sir, I am trying to do my job. The job you hired me to do. The job you even brought me back in for tonight. But it feels like you're getting in the way. Especially when you start bringing Megan into this. I wasn't trying to... Look, I don't want us getting upset over this. The data I streamed... had nothing to do with Megan or her work. It was just a routine, fact-finding check that sprang from one of our discussions. The kind of check I have to run quite often around here, believe it or not. Now, if somebody backtraces the transmission and gets to look at it, I very much doubt they'll know what to do with it. Trust me, we're fine. I would like nothing better than to trust you with this, boss. But trust is a two-way street, and the way you've handled this entire conversation so far makes me think that it's you who isn't trusting me. Why, boss? What is it you're so afraid to tell me? Adam, of course I trust you, son. It's not that I'm afraid to tell you the truth. It's just that, honestly, I'm afraid you'll take it the wrong way. All right. Look, 
The truth is, I set up a confidential data channel for a private investigator, someone who can run covert background checks on people, potential new recruits, like you. You what? I had to, Adam. You were a liability, remember? You'd just been fired from SWAT. Now, Megan believed in you, but I had to be sure. Look, I don't want this to come between us. I'll send the file to your computer. You can see for yourself what he dug up. But Adam, you'd better be sure. Why? What do you mean? I mean, sometimes the past should stay in the past. Once you see that data, you can't unring the bell. When you're ready, come back and talk to me. We need to discuss our next move. I can't believe I just did that. I can't believe it, like literally. I can't. That's amazing. So do you. Okay guys. <laughs> Woo. I very, very often. Athena tells me you spoke to Sarah. Did he happen to tell you why he made us look like idiots? You can imagine how relieved I am to hear that. I'll tell you what. While you follow any lead Sarah spoon feeds you, I'm going to do what I should have done in the first place and backtrace that signal. That's your pride talking. Still, get back to me if you find something. You meant when? Pretty sure I didn't. <sighs> I very, 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 really get that part of the mission. I'm not very good with that, to be honest with you. I just have to guess that one, but that's how I would normally do it if I were to always remember the sequence. 
if I remember the sequence of how to do it, I would already do it. But sometimes I, keep, I got too much in my mind, and uh, yeah. Anyways, the next video will be coming soon. Until then, peace out.